turn on the light. Sure, I'm turning on the light. Turn on the fan. Turn on fan. Sure, I'm turning on the fan. Turn off the light. Sure, I'm turning off the light. Turn off fan. Sure, I'm turning off the fan. Goodbye. Thank you. Hello my friend, welcome back to Relax Tech channel. I have the very old light, so I want to make a project that controls this light by voice. So as you may know, voice control first introduced by Amazon with this device, Amazon Echo Dots, if you already have the device. And now you want to control the lights. There are another project that I will talk about it. After Amazon introduced the first device, Google also introduced the device called the Google Assistant. Another product from Google is similar with, with this device, but this device focuses on the audio quality. If you already have these kinds of device and you want to build your, your home or your office nice looking, I recommend that you suit you the office or device. And what I'm going to do tonight, if you already have the Raspberry Pi, they also a PC, they have the wireless, they have internet connection, they also have the GPIO. So we can use it to directly control our fan or our lights. And on this video, I will show you step by step to do that. Basically, the application just record our voice and send the audio data into the server. The server will processing and, and return to our application the test result. So you don't need to use the high-end Raspberry Pi version. You can use whatever version that you have. So now I will connect the hardware. We can use a speaker connect to our Raspberry Pi. Then we can hear whatever the Raspberry Pi speak out. Now I will connect the driver board to my Raspberry Pi. Here the pin I have the five volt pin. The five volt pin I will connect to I connect to the relay model. See? I will connect to the relay model with the VCC pin and the ground pin we connect to the ground pin then the two GPA one connect to because I have four input we just connect to the first two two pin we just connect to the first two pin okay To remote developing on the Raspberry Pi from our PC with VS Code, we need to install the Remote Edit Edge. To do that, we need to install the plugin called Remote Edit Edge. Now I already connect to my Raspberry Pi. You can open the new terminal. I put a variable calling U equal. Now I will bring the variable. From the terminal we can run our code by running Python 3. Python 3. We have the variable U that represents our voice. What does the Raspberry will do if
then we will bring pi okay so basically if our command equal we turn on the light then the Raspberry Pi will bring out pi and show I'm turning the light turning on the light now we will check check it This is a very simple conversation between us and Raspberry Pi. We command, turn on the light, and Raspberry Pi answer, sure I'm turning on the light. Let's add more conditions. For example, we have this one. Turn off the light. And then we have turn off the light. If you want to control the ZBIO, we need another library. So when we receive the command, turn on the light, then we just on, right? Okay, and then in this case, let uh, We have the basic thing it work. Now we need to recognize our voice. The next thing that we initialize the microphone, Raspberry Pi, they don't have the building microphone so we have to use the USB audio device I modify a little bit it's different with the code in the internet we already have the hardware meet I create a variable called pi ear the pi ear we recognize what we are saying now we make the code that make the pi ear listen the audio from microphone to do that we go to this this loop so with mid as a short, this part of code just reduce the noise from the microphone. If you want to see the full code, you can check out my description.